We're finally gonna do it. Finally gonna boondock. For a day. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Yeah, we're, we're traveling from Billings, Montana over to the Spokane, Washington area. And there's really not a lot to do between here and there. And we want to get there pretty quickly. Yep. Uh, so we're going to do an overnight stay at a Harvest Host. Yes. The very first time. What do you think? I'm excited. Yeah, I, I, I'm i curious to, to try it. Yeah. I mean, I'm not excited to not have all yeah. my luxuries, but... Yeah, and we're leaving um, later than we normally leave so that we will get there around evening time. Less time to have to run the generator for Scout. Yeah. To run his lights and his heat. Mm -hmm. And less time that we'll have to run an air conditioner. Yeah. So uh, I think it'll be nice. It's a little, uh, it's like a dog place. Yes. Dog breeding. Norwegian dogs. Yeah, and they got other stuff too. Farm, chickens, goats, yeah. stuff like that. So... Um, we will take you along on our very first boondocking journey, and uh, hopefully it'll be good. Um, yeah. And the good thing is, is they don't have any hookups there, like most Harvest Hosts don't, but they do have a water source, so, so we don't have to carry water yeah, with us. Yeah, we can fill up when we We fill up when we in. get there, yeah, and then we use our water pump nice. once we get there. So at least we don't have to carry the extra weight, so that's good. Yeah. And it's going to be about mm, five, five and a half hour drive today. Yeah. So we'll have to stop along the way. Uh, we are caravanning with a couple of other couples. We're caravanning with, uh, with uh, Jerry and Teresa from Happy Place Diaries yep. and Mel and Nettie from Mel and Nettie Living Free Zip Codeless. That's right. <laughs> gas stations on the road but uh, we normally try to plan our stops to where we can stop and unhook go gas up and come back but this trip was um, over 350 miles for this leg so gotta stop and gas up on the way we do have the EFS card but we came through the regular lane because the truck lanes were all jammed up over there so we're not gonna get our savings today but save a little time nature of the beast okay back on the road after the gas stop Pit stop. Pit stop. We got uh, Happy Place Diaries out in front of us. We got Mel and Nettie living free zip code is behind us. Yep. It's a wag sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My favorite kind of sandwich. It is your favorite. Wag kind of sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot to see. There's there's some scenic parts so far, but yeah. uh, for the most part, pretty boring stuff. But uh, we got about another 150 miles before we get to the Harvest Host. Yeah. So next stop is Soho. So Joe. Sojo or Soho? Sojo. Okay. Sojo. S O J O. Yeah. However you say it. Uh, but we'll be there. This is the Norwegian uh, dog Harvest Host place. <laughs> Chop that all up.
Well, it's a nut roll already. We came in with little instructions. The people who own the place aren't here. And they gave bad instructions on how to get to a spigot. So we're over here. This, this hose leads way over here where Leslie and Teresa are walking. And it runs all the way up to the garden. Now Jerry's getting ready to hook up water now. But uh, he'll hook up to the water. And then we'll hook up to the water. And the instructions they gave us to where you need to park all four of these rigs it's a really tiny space but uh and there's a big field right across the road so i don't really understand why they want us in this area but uh we're gonna we're gonna try to make it work there wasn't great instructions to begin with because as we're going down 90 um the website for this harvest host tells you to get off on exit 104. our gps told us to get off on exit 101 which has our rv gps which we plug all of our dimensions in but uh, we got off on 104, like they said, and as soon as we get off, we go through this roundabout and bam, 13 foot overpass. So we had to circle through like a neighborhood with our big RVs, circle back around to the, uh, to the interstate and then take exit 101 like the GPS told us to begin with. And then we finally get here and now the nut roll begins on where we're supposed to park, where we can get water, uh, so, not impressed so far. So you're done with your rant? You're done ranting? You had your moment? You better? I did have a moment. <laughs> <clears throat> so first, uh, I'm cool with like a thing or two going wrong. But when everything goes wrong <laughs> in order, shutting down. Yeah, you did. You did shut down. I did. I had to take a moment. I had to just cool off because I was so you mad. To, you had to go to time out in the trailer Because first, first of all, the website says take 104, exit 104, yeah. <clears throat> which we did. There's a 13-foot overpass. Can't do it. Had to cut yeah. through like a little neighborhood and turn around and get back to the highway. So we took 101 and got here, and there was no clear instructions on... I mean, I already talked about it a little bit, but there was yeah. no clear instructions on where we were supposed to park, where we were supposed to get, get water, because we were, we made sure that we could fill up with water when we got here so we wouldn't have to haul water. Uh, yeah. And so the host... And it was 92 degrees. 92 so degrees, so it it's hot, hot out. And we couldn't figure out what configuration that the host wanted us to park our RVs in. Yeah. We're trying to interpret the instructions. Yeah. And we still didn't get it right. No. But we did get water. We had to we couldn't find the spigot that they were talking about, so we had to disconnect the hose from uh, the garden, garden yeah. and it was flowing. So then Leslie's got to try to kink it <laughs> while I'm trying to hook it up to the trailer and it's spraying. And it, which felt pretty good actually. It was freezing cold. But water. <laughs> it's spraying water all into the bottom of the freaking RV yeah. everywhere. And then so I finally got it hooked in and we filled up uh, a little bit of water. Yeah. Just enough for tonight. And then I go to unhook it, and even though she's got it kinked, it's still like a powerful hose. Yeah. So it's spraying me again all over the place. And then we get, there's like, there's like this much space between the, the tailgate and the and the the door that goes up to get access to the to the, the generator. generator. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm with this heavy generator. I'm leaned over because because yeah. how, how are you again? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's way down here, and I'm like, lift with your knees. I'm like, oh, you know, onto the onto the ground, and then I drag the thing over there, and I fire it up. It's like 92 degrees inside the RV. It was actually 98. 98 degrees when inside I went the in RV. To turn on the air. And so we go in there and we get, you know, the the first air conditioner turned on. Yeah. I'm like, I'll let that run for a second. And then I uh, well, I'm going to turn on this to do the second. second air conditioner cuz we know we can run two ACs on 30 amp. But we apparently sure am. <laughs> you can't run it off the uh, 3500 generator. Oh, it has to be shore power 30 amp. I didn't know that. So we blew it. First day boon boondocking. Yeah. So I kick on the second AC and boom, everything just, just shuts, shuts off so had to get um buddy mel yeah to help mel us to out because i know nothing i know nothing this is day one of boondocking ever i know nothing and so i got super pissed because everything <laughs> was going wrong and you were hot and i was hot and i was mad and, and we drove for five hours drove for, and we were and it was coming up on you know like more than five hours six like o'clock yeah so i'm hungry yeah because i'm working on uh i had a, I had a cinnamon roll small little cinnamon roll for Teresa breakfast made the cinnamon roll. and then uh, a slim fast for lunch which you saw yeah and so that's all i'm working on all day <laughs> so i'm hot pissed covered and now i'm drenched you know and the generator's blown and i'm like i'm shutting down i am shutting the down 
<laughs> you know? And that was shortly after I vlogged over there. Yeah. <laughs> like moments after that. Uh -huh. And I just now, it's been how many hours? A couple hours? It's been two hours. Yeah, it took, it, just now good enough to get back on camera. Because <laughs> I was pissed. And everybody's, you know, when you're pissed, everybody's kind of like, Oh, are you good? Are you good? No, I'm not. I'm not good. Just, yeah, you said just, no. Just, I'm not. I'm just not good. I'm not alone. happy. Just, just, <laughs> it just take, and I, and I reckon I just, it just takes me a while to cool down when I get this mad. Yeah. And I know that, and I recognize it. So I'm just like, I'm gonna go to my little corner, <laughs> yes, and I'm did. gonna have my moment, and I'll be, I'll be okay in a I mean, hours. I mean, we knew this was gonna be harder for us because we're not Boonies. We have no desire to do this on a regular basis. But we knew I have no we desire to ever do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. it, but they have chickens. But they have chickens and goats. And goats. I love goats. So we'll show you the chickens and the goats. We'll show you around the place. Well, if you asked me two hours ago, I am never effing doing this again. <laughs> F boondocking. There was lots of Fs. There was. There was many. There was, there was not a shortage of Fs. No. Flying around the Harvest Host yeah. tonight. But, <laughs> but now, looking back, I mean, and looking at it's this. It's beautiful out here. I mean, it's hard to be mad. It is hard. There's, when you have a view like and, this. And animals to play with. Yeah, and animals, the chickens, <laughs> the goats, the they puppy make dogs. everything better. Yeah, and uh, we're going to drink some whiskey. Yeah. And everything's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, I mean, I, honestly, two hours ago, I was like, we will never, ever boondock again. <laughs> Harvest host or not. It, regardless, I'm just not doing it. Yeah. But we might now. Time pass. You'll, <laughs> you, you'll get over it. Yes, we might. We might. You can't base it off of one experience. You can't really, but I mean, it was like I said, it was not just one or two things. If it was just one or two things, cool. I, th I think the expectation was set a little higher than it should have been. So. Yeah, I mean, but this is really a nice place. It's beautiful out here. Um, it was just, you know, communication issues, and I don't know. Yeah. It's just a perfect storm, yeah. and it just who happens to be our very first, first boondocking first. experience. Yeah. So when you when you have a bad experience on your very first experience. You tend to go, you know what? Just not doing that anymore. Yeah. I retired and lived the RV life to have fun and I was not having fun. Yeah, I was having the opposite of fun. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your thoughts on the boondocking? Zai. Zai? <laughs> yeah, not our favorite, but I mean, it, it was fine for the night. Yeah. Um, it didn't start off great, but it, it, it turned into good. Yeah. So, manageable. Yeah, I just, I do miss having power <laughs> yeah and my I air miss, conditioner and yeah running the tv and being completely level because like, we stayed hooked up to the truck so you're not completely level well we do that sometimes at parks too when we're yeah. only overnighting but love the amenities uh more than not having them yeah so we probably won't do it very often no they'll, they'll be fillers yeah i won't say never but well uh we won't go out of our way to move down yeah for sure yeah. Um, so now we're headed out of uh, Missoula and headed for the Spokane area, back to the land of full hookups. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so there goes our uh, our very first boondocking, very first harvest host adventure. Yeah. Uh, it went terrible. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. Hope you stick around for a few seconds to help us with that. And if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye.